So I really like these YouTube riddles and puzzles and different things, and I saw a pretty cool one today where there was a rectangle with uh, known sizes and two circles inside of the rectangle. So this side is 20 and 10. Then we've got a circle that goes from here, and it's tangent to each of these edges. Okay, And the goal is to find the area of the highlighted regions. Okay, now what they said is that uh, Chinese kids can solve this in sixth grade. So I wanted to find a different way to do this. The guy provided us with a geometrical way, and I'd like to show us a way to do it in calculus. So we're looking for the area here, here, and then if you look closely, it's here. We're ignoring this area. Now the first thing that I do in these sorts of things is look for some sort of symmetry. Right, and we've actually got some here. So if we zoom in on this area, we'll see it. So what we have is the edge of the circle going up, and then the edge of this kind of square going down. Okay, and we're looking for this area. Okay, so this is the, the area. All right, and this is a five by five. This is the center of the circle, right? Now we can do this with calculus. This is what I want to show you. If we know the equation of this, which is just the equation of a circle, we can find it. Then we run into the next problem is this area. So this is symmetrical. This is the one I'm going to draw. We have this edge going along. This goes up until it hits the circle, at which point the circle takes over and it goes down like this. And so with a little bit of algebra, which I'm not going to show, this point is at 2, 1. And this point, you don't really need algebra. It's just 5, 0. Okay, because the radius of these circles is 5. So we have approximately four of these, right? So here you can see there's 1, 2, 3, and then here's the fourth, but there's a chunk that needs to be taken away from it right here. So how are we going to do all this? First of all, this area we can find, this is the area that needs to be taken away. There are two chunks of it. There's this chunk with an area of just 1, because it's just a triangle, and then the difficult part later, somewhat difficult but still pretty easy, is finding this area and subtracting it away. So first what we're going to do is find the area of this. Okay, and there are four of them. So you can multiply the integral by four. And the integral is going from where to where? It's going from five to ten. Okay, that's a pretty easy part to find there. Now the equation for the circle is negative square root of 25 minus x minus 5, which is squared. All right, and then you're adding 5. This is the area for the circle, or this is the equation for this, the area underneath the quarter of the circle. Now this is too big because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, but we need to take away this chunk here, right? And so to do that, first of all, we can subtract away 1 because that's just the triangle. This is the triangle. This is this shape. And now we need to also subtract away the area that's made by the circle. Okay, so how are we going to do that? We're going to go from 2 to 5 in the x direction. And again, it's the same exact equation. We're looking at the, the bottom of the semicircle the square root of 25 minus x minus 5 squared plus 5 dx. And so this will get you the answer. If you know how to do the calculus for this, this will get you the answer. So we're just taking the integral, multiplying it by 4. That's getting us the 4 of these areas, but now we have too much, so we've got to subtract it away. That is made up of two parts, this simple triangle with an area of 1, and then this little more difficult area where we've got this segment of a circle and we want to find the area below it. And that's done by this, using the same equation. We're using the same equation here twice, right? This is the equation for that bottom of the, oops, I forgot the 5 here. Okay, so these are the same equation. So the negative square root of 25 minus x minus 5 squared plus 5, and we're taking the integral. In this case, from 5 to 10, okay, dx, we're doing it four times, and here we're doing it once, from 2 to 5, right, which is effectively this spot here. We're just taking that away, because remember, this 
and this are symmetrical. So I hope this showed you an interesting little use of calculus. Um, usually when they teach calculus, you're more kind of memorizing things and doing it for a test. And I wanted to show you that calculus can be used to also solve cool puzzles. And I'll put a link in the description to the other video. And hopefully you'll see if you know calculus, you should see that this is a little simpler than the geometric method that was provided. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in more of this, check us out at convert.com. You can email me at hello at convert.com. You can also get a hold of us through Facebook at facebook.com facebook slash convert. And we're also at Twitter. We are at convert underscore ed. So check us out. We love to teach more about this stuff. We teach a lot of STEM classes. And I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks a lot.